hello guys i welcome you in this wonderful video today i want to share with you some few price action tips that i believe will improve your trading so let us get started if you can see here we have a very very beautiful move and if you can look at this market it seems like the market uh, was moving in them in some form of a range if I can just highlight the support and then on the upper side You can see that it was stuck around that area all the way there So we can see that it was some kind of a range and then something beautiful is happening here We can say break out and then we can see a minor retest So these can be a sign or this can be a signal that we should be going short or we should be looking for selling opportunities Why because the market has been stuck on this range and then now it is breaking down also giving us a retest and not just only giving us a retest and also seeing at the waves on the upper side we can see that we have this high and then the next high is a little bit higher and then the following high is a little bit lower so we have some kind of a pattern here which shows that okay the buyers we're trying to push up aggressively, but they failed. You know, because if you can see here, they pushed up trying to break the resistance, they failed. And then the sellers came back with power. And then now the buyers, they couldn't even reach their previous high, you know, which shows us that it is a sign of struggling as far as the buyers are concerned. And then if you can look at the behavior of the market, there is something also amazing. Here, we have another resistance. And this resistance can cause a lot of conflicts when it comes to analyzing here because if you see something like this it'll be hard for you to say okay i'm gonna sell here because what if price is gonna respond from this resistance and go all the way up so those will be some kind of conflicting ideas because here from this range you see like a selling opportunity and then all of a sudden you see some kind of a resistance here not just only that resistance but also one of some key resistance levels as well down there where the upward wave or where the buyers wave begins so you're you are you are not sure whether you should sell or you should wait for some kind of uh further confirmation so my my usual approach in such scenarios it is to forget about what i see in this price and it is to forget about what i see in this time frame if i may say and then go to some other time frame that will give me a better perspective as far as this price movement is concerned if you can look at here i just went one time frame above i'm on the four hour now if you can look at here we have another beautiful move now and this market is becoming a little bit clear because we have this wave which is a wave of the sellers, which was an impulsive wave. And then we have this corrective wave going down, which tells us that this is a downtrend. So this is a high and this is a low. So this is a lower high and a lower low. And then we have another low here, which is lower. And then this wave here, it necessarily means that this is a corrective wave. And if this is a corrective wave, it means that this is where the sellers are going to take or this is where the sellers are going to give us an impulsive wave going all the way down. Ne? starting from there going all the way down which means that all the things that we are afraid of in the lower time frame meaning this support here and this resistance here all these things that we're afraid of they don't mean anything here on this time frame because we can see that it is indeed a downtrend so when we see a breakout here when we see a breakout here it necessarily means that this wave can signify some kind of impulsive. Yeah? If I can erase and, and just uh, re-show you some other things. If you can see this corrective wave going up, we can see how it started flowing. If I can just draw a supporting trend line. We can see the supporting trend line that the market was moving in this form. And then all of a sudden something changed here. Remember I showed you this as some kind of a range. No? But in this higher time frame, it simply means that there was a decline in strength. No? Meaning on the corrective wave, the buyers were stronger. And then they are getting a little bit weaker. So if the buyers are getting a little bit weaker in a corrective wave, it means that now be ready an impulsive wave is about to begin and we can see that if we see a breakout this is indeed a sign of an impulsive wave that is uh at its early stages now i hope this is making sense so whenever you find yourself confused in your analysis or whenever you find yourself stuck in your decision making make sure that you confirm with the time frame above because it will really blow your mind you will understand the flow of the price you'll understand the structure of the price before we continue, please note that this video is sponsored by Delta Exchange.
a cryptocurrency trading platform that is not only limited to trading, it also offers investment opportunities, meaning you'll be able to earn without any effort. So if you're interested in digital coins, be free to check them out. The links are in the description below. If you can see in this uh, previous low that I highlighted, you can see that it's not just only a, a, a normal low, but it is also a point or a place where the price is trying to give us some kind of a test because we see, we see that now price is getting stuck around this zone or around this region, which is the same region that um, the initial corrective wave began. But now we're expecting the corrective wave to end there or the impulsive wave to begin from there, which is how actually uh, price action behave because we have retest and this is some kind of a retest and you should not ignore some kind of patterns because they also add in your confirmation. For an example, you won't be only acting for from a breakout here, but you'll also be using this as a sign that indeed because price before began here and a corrective wave began in this zone, it is likely that now an impulsive wave is going to begin from this area. So in such scenarios, we are confidently expecting for the market to go shorter and shorter. Yeah? So don't confuse yourself with these minor structures. They don't count. Yeah? Don't confuse yourself with the patterns which are within this wave. What you have to pay attention into it is these waves themselves and then you observe these patterns only when you want to detect the reversal or the end of these individual waves, not necessarily an entire trend or an entire move. Yeah? I hope that is making sense. So when we go back to our for, to our one hour time frame, now it will be easy for us to make better decision because we will come with the mentality that we received from the four hour that, okay, this is a major downtrend. So we shouldn't be hindered by, the, uh, by this resistance or by this support because it is likely that price is going to just go past this support without any uh, challenges. So I hope this is making sense. And then when it comes to risk management, I always share this a lot that when you find yourself in a position, let's say you're trading uh, with a smaller account and you want to um, take this as a selling uh, trade. Ne? A lot of uh, traders will say, if I put my stop loss all the way up there, it will be a little bit far because considering the fact that I'm entering, let me just uh, use this, considering the fact that I'm entering all the way down here. So me putting my stop loss all the way there is a little bit far. Now, yes, it's, it will be a little bit far if... Um, if maybe you have watched what was happening on the hard time frame and then you brought your analysis back into a smaller time frame, it will be a little bit of a bigger a risk. However, what I always uh, encourage is that make sure that at least you put your stop loss inside the zone where you are not expecting price to go back to. Because here we've seen a breakout you now. Let me just extend this. We've seen a break out of this range. So meaning if we are selling here, we are not expecting price to go back inside this range. Now, so you have to put your stop loss maybe somewhere around there where it will be reasonable, but it should be inside this zone, which we are not expecting price to go back to. And then when it comes to the targets, now you should make sure that your targets are viewed from the perspective of the high time frame, meaning you, we are expecting price to continue to go further down, né? just as it did uh, with the, 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 the previous impulsive wave, just as it did with this wave. We're expecting the exact same thing here, that, okay, price is going to go down because this is a downtrend. So don't limit yourself when it comes to the positive side. However, pay careful attention when it comes to the stop loss. So make sure that you risk what is reasonable uh, for your account. I hope this is making sense. Let me leave it here, guys. Uh, thank you for watching.